Chapter number five of Welsh Fairy Tales and Other Stories by P. H. Emerson. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recorded by Charlotte Duckett. The Old Man and the Fairies. Many years ago, the Welsh mountains were full of fairies. People used to go by moonlight to see them dancing, for they knew where they would be dancing by seeing green rings in the grass. There was an old man living in one of those days who used to frequent the fairs that they were held across the mountain. One day he was crossing the mountain to a fair and when he got to the lovely valley he sat down for he was tired and he dropped off to sleep and his bag fell down by his side. When he was sound asleep, the fairies came and carried him off, bag and all, and took him under the earth, and he awoke, and found himself in a great palace of gold, full of fairies dancing and singing, and they took him and showed him everything, the splendid gold room and gardens, and they kept dancing round him until he fell asleep. When he fell asleep, they carried him back to the same spot where they had found him. And when he awoke, he thought he had been dreaming, for he looked at the bag and got hold of it, but he could hardly lift it. When he opened it, he found it was nearly filled with gold. He managed to pick it up and turned around and went home. When he got home, his wife Caddy said, What's to do? Why haven't you been to the fair? I've got something here, he said, and he showed his wife the gold. Why, where'd you get that? But he wouldn't tell her. Since she was curious, like all women, she kept worrying him all night, for he'd put the money in a box under the bed. So he told her about the fairies. The next morning, when he awoke, he thought he'd go to the fair and buy lots of things. He went to the box to get some gold, but found it was full of cockle shells. The end of chapter number five. The Old Man and the Fairies